As Mikhail Lomonosov once said, chemistry strongly affects a human's actions. Understanding chemistry gives us the power to help humanity, but it also comes with a heavy responsibility. Hi, I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games, and that was interesting, wasn't it? Wh why did that dude just have a pipe leading from his oil tank, I assume, to the outside where it was just dripping? And she's hot punk. Ha! Huh. Well, we are going to play the next Haunted Hotel game. And apparently, it's going to take place in a different hotel because it looks like we are in the mountains. And we are on game number nine. Now, from this point on, they did something rather cute. I don't know if you'll think this is dumb or not, but in the titles, the last game was Haunted Hotel 8, Eternity, and the symbol was an infinity sign, which is a sideways eight. And Haunted Hotel 9 is Haunted Hotel Phoenix. And if you'll notice from the logo, it's IX, which is the Roman numeral for nine. And they continue doing that for quite some time. So I'll show you them as we go along. But at any rate, let's get started with this one. All I know is it has something to do with fires. Oh, that looks like a phoenix. That's pretty cool. It has something to do with fires and the mountains. That's all I know. We have custom! Yay! We don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, we do not need the tutorial. We do need to use hints and we can set this down all the way. Yay! I can't remember actually if this had custom mode in the last one or if it just had really simple mode. Custom mode is my favorite thing. Alright, here we go. Fires erupted in northern Oregon today. This area has been plagued with wildfires for several years, but witnesses reported several strange outlines that resemble birds. Are these fires the work of the legendary Phoenix of Oregon, or are they the product of an arsonist? State police are baffled, so federal agents have consulted a famous detective for help. The detective's bio has not been released to the public. The crisp mountain air is really refreshing. Let's get to work. Wait, was that mystery trackers again? Okay. Looks like I need a coin to enter. Where did my backpack go? Okay, that wasn't my luggage. Stone Spires Hotel. Boy, I'm gonna have to count to see how many hotels this is at this point. All visitors are welcome at the Stone Spires Hotel. Enjoy the fresh mountain air. See the wild of northern or wild nature of northern Oregon. Professor Morn is the Phoenix real. Fire ravages Stone Spires. I guess it's caught fire before. That'll be like the fourth hotel that's gotten set on fire in these games. Ooh, can I lock it up too? Yay. Oh, good. I hate it when it has to pop up and down. Hotel guests, please call for entry. What is that? A wooden stake. No answer. The entry phone must be broken. It was very nice of us to steal their sign that says people have to call. Let's kill a vampire. I don't think there's any vampires in this. One day I'll reach a mountain summit. I guess that won't happen today. Okay, there's a tree up there. That's that. 
I have a stick. Is that to... Like... Okay. And that is a coin. What am I looking at? Oh! Person in the window. Okay. They usually center whatever it is you're looking at. Someone was watching me from the second floor. Wait, can I use the coin to unscrew the thingy? Yes. No. Apparently not. I definitely need a screwdriver for these. All right, it's fair. I mean, maybe. Has it, we kind of had a ghost in the last one. Sort of. <laughs> we had an eagle noise. All right, let's see here. We have flashlight, sleeping mask, ball, nope. Headphones, soap, soap, crest, that must be this. Crest is covered with dirt, so we need a sponge to clean that. We don't. Okay. Brush. All right. Stone spires. That's a cool crest. I like the little mountain poking over the edge. Mug, handkerchief tie I totally saw. Where's the tie? There it is. Alright, I need a camera and a screwdriver. The camera is missing its lens. And... Oh wait, that's the headphones. And... What else do we need? It's locked. I need a key. There's a key. And there's a screwdriver. And what's this? This place gives me the creeps. I had another nightmare last night. I'm checking out early. Okay. Oh, there's the ball. I don't get like a task book or anything in this one, huh? Aha. Right, so this one is connected correctly. And now that one's connected correctly. There we go. This must be the hotel manager. I should introduce myself and wake her up. Hi there. I'm Amanda Sade, and I run this place. You must be that famous detective, right? I guess. The hotel's pretty empty outside of tourist season, but our mountain views are beautiful year-round, and the local legends attract a lot of visitors. Oh no! Not again! There's smoke coming from the second not floor. Not again! Please, not another fire! I can't take it! Please help me. It's coming from the second floor. Oh no, my portrait's up there. Can you save it? It's got me and Steven on it. Please, it's the only picture I have of him. I, I can't do it. You'll have to. Here, this unlocks the firebox. More people locking fireboxes. Who did this? Thankfully it hasn't spread yet. I don't know, it looks like someone threw a... Uh... This place is not up to fire code. Of course it's not. Looks like someone threw something through the window and caught the curtains on fire. This is very weird. I did not exp Oh, there we go. Um... Oh, okay. It does matter where I point it. Aw, her picture. Amanda, that was the best day, wasn't it? Hey! Something fishy is going on here, you think? I don't know, maybe there is a ghost!
I don't need to go there. It's locked. Okay. Fire ghost! Okay, okay. Sorry Thanks about your so picture. Much. Sorry, I just panicked. Every time I see a fire, I freak out. I just can't get the phoenix out of my mind. You've heard about the legend, right? No. This wasn't always a hotel. It used to be part of Stone Spires University. The phoenix was our mascot, you see. But a few years ago, there was a huge fire in the chemistry building. It destroyed everything on campus, everything but this building. The university closed shortly after. Wait, is there another thing? I'm s oh. That's Steven. We work together. He was pyrophobic, so he didn't escape the fire. We were very close. I always wonder if I could have saved him. That's why I built the hotel. To trap his ghost? I could never leave Stone Spires. Yeah, why? If you're going out, please take this map. It's easy to get lost out there. Okay. <laughs> so why would you build a university on top of a mountain? That's a terrible place to build a university. Stone Spires Hotel. James B. Lot Punk. It's James B. Kevin Reynolds, Law Mock, Mark. Law Mock Jr., I think? It's James. It's James. He checked in. Oh, we're in 1979. This is a year after the last game, I think? I think the last game was in 1978. Be sure to visit our spectacular new tennis court. What are these weird things? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> you did not kill him. <laughs> Amanda must be in the back room. Yeah, I got that. Why is there no thing on the phone? Handset, that's the word I was looking for. There's another picture of him right there! That's the only picture I have of him. Quick, go get it from the fire. She has one right there! Ugh. All right, what's over here? A molecule. Hikers must use a map. All right, is there anything else in here I need to click on? I don't think so. All right. So this is what's left of the old Stone Spires University on top of the mountain. <gasps> Yes, yes, it should. Okay. How is it that keys in this game break so easily? Okay. I don't know what that did. I guess I need gas. And something to turn the key with. And there's another molecule. And there is a running dude. I guess we can go that way now. What else is over here? Oh, if only we had a piece of wire we could use as a... Key. Oh, what's this? Oh. I guess I don't need the rest of the keys. I guess we don't need the rest of that either. It looks like I need a code for this one. No smoking. Okay. From Stephen P to Amanda S. Amanda, it feels like I've known you forever. I have a surprise for you. Let this sun guide you. Forever yours, Stephen. Aw, did she just never check her mail for however long it's been? stranger just disappeared into the shadows. Actually, that stranger just disappeared into the falling debris. 
some of the remains of the fire could have ended up here. It's worth what? Some of the remains from the fire could have ended up here. It's worth investigating. Okay. Machine still has some fuel. Okay, so I guess I need a siphon. And something to put siphoned stuff into. I don't know why there's a football on the tennis court. I have to remove this grating. I just had a clipper I could have used to cut that. I literally just used it to clip to clip the gate. Can you use that to get that out? No. Wait, what? <laughs> no, I can't. Nope, it's stuck. See, it's tied with a rope. You can't unstuck it. <laughs> Emergency gate release. Okay. Again, don't put emergency you. How old is that pizza box? All right, now we have a lens and a pizza cutter for some reason and a piece of paper. Oh, I have this too. A diamond. Amanda, will you marry me? Aw, he was gonna marry her. And then he got burned up in a fire and she never checked her mail. I wonder if we're gonna use her engagement ring to cut some glass and then not give it to her because I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Yeah. Uh, can I use the pen to get that? All right. Okay, well, let's go back this way. Oh, I didn't see this. Ah, gas can. So now we just need that hose and then we can siphon the fuel and then we can drive the little ATV to question mark. I'm not sure where we're trying to get to. Now let's go back upstairs. It's locked. If only we had a lock pick. Right. So we need a key for that. Um... Okay. What, what am I supposed to do here? Can I use the pizza cutter on that rope? Pizza cutters aren't very sharp. Sure, why not? I mean, that makes as much sense as anything else. We did it without a funnel this time. Sorry? This game is already silly. It's the Stone Spires University Chemistry Building. It's barely standing after the fire. The fire happened during a busy school day. Amanda and Stephen were here that day. There was definitely someone else here too. This place is just full of secrets. What a strange place. So, was this fire an accident or arson? Maybe the fires and those Phoenix legends aren't just coincidences. What was that? I can smell smoke, but I don't see anything. Something's not right. I mean, the whole place probably smells like smoke. But to go back to your question, yes, I think that's what we sound like. Why is there a bird there? No birdie. He's definitely not intimidated by humans. Maybe he'd like a snack. This stuff was left recently. I'm not alone here. All right, all right, all right. I'll find you something to eat. Don't be cranky. Amanda said their mascot was a phoenix. 
That is a relatively cool uh, mascot for a school. Hey, not just a coincidence. Someone is nearby. It's screwed down. Don't I have a screwdriver? Yes. You better let me keep the screwdriver game. Lecture hall. I had to break the door down to get through. Did let me keep this. It did not let me keep the screwdriver. Dang, nab it. to be a trophy there. There's another dude that just happens to be stuck in exactly the same way. 1978. Is that supposed to be a letter or an X? An Xbox. <laughs> a checkbox is what I meant. The metal was ripped out. And then each of these lockers needs a weird thingy. Reynolds Hall. Okay. I had something I could pop it open with. Uh, like a screwdriver. <sighs> All right. Uh, let's see. Well, that didn't give me very much, did it? I thought we were going to drive this off into the forest or something. I, I I guess it probably wouldn't be a good idea to try to drive it into the building and through that second door because I bet, like, the floor is not very sturdy. Okay, let's see what our map says. Player undiscovered current task. Okay, so the current task is in here. I can't feed the... You want a diamond ring to eat? The eagle. 19... Oh, maybe that's the code for... Oh, you know what it's going to make me do? That is a letter. This is the code for the letter box. We could just punch the bird. Those birds, however, are very pointy and will punch you back with pointy bits. Wow, that's a lot of... Well, I need that, but... Oh, I've done cover the pears. I don't like this thing. I like other find it things much better. A marble. I don't think I saw a marble yet. Yes, I need that. I know, I saw it. Alright, that's one of the locker keys. Yep. The middle locker. A lighter and a ruler. Stone Spires University welcomes freshmen. Okay, now I guess we can open this door. The smell of rotten food is overpowering. Seems like no one bothered cleaning it out. It got caught on fire! Why would you clean it out? Ew. Okay, yeah, no, I don't wanna... I, I, I don't wanna touch that. I'm gonna have to agree with the game in this particular case. It needs a new cable. Okay. Oh, didn't I get a button? Or am I making that up? Oh, the button fell in the thing. Good job, me. Also fair. What is... Stay away. Wow, that person has really good backwards handwriting. I, I think that is a can of tuna. <laughs> Not, it's a can of meat. Um, is it a can of raw meat? 
It's a can. It's a can with a steak in it. A raw steak. <laughs> that's not how that works. Stuff that's canned. Drop me. Usually, when food is canned, it is cooked. Is that a chainsaw in a box on the ledge? I can't reach it. Those shards could hurt. I need something long to pull it closer. Why is there a chainsaw out there? Oh boy. Also, I could break that glass with anything in this room. Amanda, you are the sun in my sky. My heart burns with love for you. Aww, that's adorable. Alright, I got a tweezer, which I assume is to get these little tennis people. <laughs> you're right, you're right. I did not go to any good universities where they had ledge chainsaws. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Oh wait, oh, you can go there, but that's not where the other one is. The other one is over here. Thank you. Ah, we get to play a mini game. Wow, this looks complicated. Using the bumpers help the left player score points by guiding the tennis ball past the right player. Select the arrows on the bumpers to rotate them, then select the racket button to serve. Okay. Oh, how do I serve? That doesn't work. Okay. Huh. Okay. Um. Well, I'll do it. Alright, I have to do this one. And I can't point it that way. So I'm going to do it that way. Okay. Right. Mm. Super helpful. Yay! I did it! And there was a trophy in there that somebody stole from the trophy case and then left on the tennis court for some reason. A golf club. A telescoping golf club. Which means, I assume, I can use it to get the chainsaw on the ledge. It's out of fuel. Oh, I guess I still had some. I thought I was going to have to siphon it out of the ATV. Oh yeah, no, this is a big chainsaw. This is like a full-size gigantic chainsaw. It's not the best way to do that, but that looks like fun. <laughs> This is the lecture hall where Stephen taught. It seems to have escaped the burn, the burnt of the flames. Maybe something's still here. It does not. It's got burnt all over the place. The beaker. Oh, this is where these got. Oh, I don't have them all. Okay. Do I have anything to cut with? Not yet. Nope. Nope. Okay, that's the same thing. My high school chemistry is rusty, and I'd rather not accidentally create a toxic gas. That's fair. Uh, let's see. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Such a beautiful view, but I have to concentrate on my investigation. Stephen Peake, Confidential. The properties of this new gas are outstanding. It has so many applications. It could revolutionize the world. Okay, that's good. Uh, completely rusted. The doors are bent. It takes tremendous force to open it. Okay. I guess I can make a thing now. So I need S in here, and then O2 in there. I, I don't think that's how that works. 
like I think you'd need it. The oxygen would just come out. And that goes in the S3, SO3, sorry. And then we put more oxygen in there, which again, I don't think would work, especially not in that container. It would just all come out the top. And then we put this in here. And we add water. And now we have what? Acid. What's happening to me? The dead can talk. Did I really just see that? I feel a little dizzy. Johnny was a scientist. Johnny is no more, because what he thought was H2O was H2SO4. <laughs> I forgot about that rhyme. <laughs> oh, that's funny. There might be a real ghost. I don't want to take any of this weird stuff, and this needs some sort of card, okay? Go, 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 ghost! I mean, it'd be a first, or maybe a second. I'm still not sure if we should, if we should count the ones at the other one. Why would you keep chemicals in your locker? <laughs> For Stephen Peak, colleague and companion, A.S. Here's another picture of him. First day at work at Stone Spires University. Class of 76, my secrets safe, my secrets are safe here. That's not obvious or anything. Oh look, another map. I had one of those in the last game, drove me nuts. Dr. Stephen Peak, professor of chemistry. Wait, now what's happening? Stephen Peak was a genius scientist with a PhD in chemistry. He accepted a professorship at Stone Spire University. Stephen met Amanda Say because she worked in the Department of Psychology next door. They became close friends. Only Amanda knew about Stephen's pyrophobia. Did opening up to his closest friend seal his demise? Did she kill him? That would be rude. I've got to check inside that storage cabinet. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's very obvious what that is. This is very true. I think it's more like he probably froze and couldn't get himself out. A razor blade. That's the only thing. All right. And there's the metal, which goes in the cabinet, which is hiding a shield, a university crest. Did I need that? Did I even need that yet? Oh, look at there. That's what this is for. And I take out a wire and I add it to here for some reason, and there's just a can of gas sitting there. Is that the... I actually don't know. Can I use this to melt that? No, okay. I don't know what to do from here. Player. I don't do anything from here. Do I have a thing I'm supposed to click on? Ah, okay. It's this kind of gas canister. I don't think you would have one of those in a stove, but whatever. Now I can use this to melt that. And then I can get the molecule. Hot dog, ice cream, and meat. Canned meat. I wonder if the hot dog and ice cream are also canned. Okay, let's see. Ooh, different kind of puzzle. Let's see. A breathy machine thing. And a vial. 
and wait is this that one yes and a chemical thing and what is that that looks like glue and I don't know what that is oh that's a uh, oxygen mask thing and what else what that thing is. Is that this? Okay, a mortar and pestle. Radiation sign. And a needle of some sort. Syringe, rather. Thermometer, maybe? Yep. And that's like a diode or something. And a number four. Where's a number four? And whatever that thing was. Again, I wasn't looking for. Hmm. Oh, there's that. Where's the number four? I see lots of numbers that aren't the number four. Middle. Four. Wow. Okay. Perhaps this, I'm going to blow up that cabinet, aren't I? Because hopefully whatever's inside there isn't flammable. No? Oh, good. What am I going to blow up then? Wait, do I still need this? I need another chemical agent. This? This is excellent for heating chemicals. Oh, I'm sorry, you have to heat it up first. Forgive me. This is a terrible idea. Why? Why would you think that's a good idea? What if the thing you need in there is flammable? Because probably the thing you need in there is flammable! Now wait one minute. <laughs> Hang on. It's not a cabinet. It's a secret passage. A secret passage. I should I shouldn't wander around down here without a map. If they do the same map thing with this this time, I'm gonna be very angry. Alright. Yep, they did. They won't let me use the map. Gosh darn it. Alright. It's the exact same puzzle from the last game. Down to ooh, wait, maybe I still have that. Down to the directions. Like it's literally the same map. Literally. Right, so I do have my directions from last time because I'm messy and didn't throw it away. Oh no, it has a phone number on it too. That's why I didn't throw it away. All right, so what we discovered last time is this is not there. I was always thinking it was there, so we have to start here and we have to go straight first. Wait, I just wanna make sure I'm starting at the beginning. Okay, so we go straight. Straight, right, left, up, left, up, left. And then I have left, but I think it's actually right. Yep. Mm-hmm. Leave stone spires. Can't leave stone spires. Can't leave stone spires. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Thanks for showing me the way. No one leaves the stone spires! <laughs> You're coming with me. Thanks for guiding me here. Your assistance is appreciated. Say goodbye, detective. Oh my head, was that Phoenix real? Professor Peak is alive and in danger? I must get out of here. Okay, so some dude who had what looked to be bombs attached to him just kidnapped the professor. Actually, he's a doctor, technically. And there was a giant flaming bird 
and gas that knocked us out and then there was another detective that woke us up but now they're gone did i did i get all of that why did it oh that probably was the spot wherein the demo would have ended which is why my stuff got there's some sort of brace missing here okay okay Nothing will happen without a code. Oh, there's the engagement ring. We are using the engagement ring and not giving it to her. For a beauty called Amanda. Aw, what is that? A powder compact. Okay. A torch. If I look for fingerprints, I'll know what key you suppress. I've probably said this before, but this is not actually how that works. What is that? A microscope brace. I need something to loosen the screws. If only I had a screwdriver or a coin. I mean, I did use the coin in a vending machine, so that's a little bit different. I'm not entirely sure what this is supposed to be. Better not print the image if I can't see it clearly. Okay. No, 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 no. Stop that. Um, all right, this is too close. Oh, I didn't know there was another option. There we go. I should probably turn that off so no one else can see it, or not. Wow, this is very tiny. String and paper clip. And that's all that was in there? Steven put something behind the bars. Can I get it out with that? No? Okay, can I... Oh. I mean, there's alcohol inside the lighter that I could do, but we won't get into that. Can I use that to do that? That's not what I meant, but sure, what is it? Alcohol. I'm sorry, I don't know a lot of chemical terms. Now I have a lit torch. I mean, I had a flashlight very not long ago. Like in the last section. Put it in your pocket. Yeah. Looks like the university sewer. I must get out of here. Hey, who closed the hatch? Who do you think closed the hatch? The bad guys. The workers probably used a schematic to regulate the pressure. Probably. Oh, okay. For S Peak PhD Chemistry. I guess I'm stealing tape. Don't know why, but I am. I need one more box to reach that. Oh, okay, I'm gonna stack the boxes. Got it. No, I don't need to click on that again. Thank you. All right, and that's part of that. Wow, that is very resilient paper. I can't reach it. I bet I could. They, they didn't startle me. All right, let's see. So those two... Oh, good. We're going to play this game. This one. And that one. And then this one. Okay. 
Yay! Ooh, a crowbar. Nice. I like crowbars. This game never gives me enough credit. Can I do that? I bet I could. If I smash that glass, I certainly could get in there. I don't know if I need to get in there necessarily, though. I can use this on this, though. Stephen Peake, PhD chemistry. Yeah, he's not a professor, he's a doctor. And when people who are in school are doctors and not professors, they generally do not like it when you get that incorrect. How many months did you have to stay here, Stephen? Do I need like this or something? No, okay. I do need that button though, but I don't have anything to cut it with. All right. Why can't I just use this like that? Yuck, a soggy box. Things tend to change if a little heat is applied. Okay. I bet I could get that out without bending those bars. You just have to turn it sideways. You could also remove the button by pulling on it. You are correct. Oh, these puzzles are always interesting. Okay. What's going on here? Can you open here? Is that what I have to do this thing? Oh, that! What is it? Oh, that looks exactly what that's like. Oh, and it looks like it's used. Okay. That's what that's used for. Yeah, like, right there. Um, dum, dum, dum. Okay, that's what I'm using. Focus on it. You know, even in not a perfect world, I could turn these some of these things sideways. The game realizes that, right? I don't want to redo the bottom. <laughs> Probably more than me at the moment. You don't like these types of games. They frustrate me. I'm giving myself a certain amount of time. I will not do this forever, I promise. Encanto is such a good movie. It was so good. Wait, how does that not fit there? It totally fits there. You have to go watch Encanto, everyone. And then come back and tell me how good it was. Yep, okay. That is enough of that. I was right with that big one. It was in the bottom corner. Ha! What? Look at the pendulum, Stephen. That's right. You won't remember any of this. And you'll do exactly what I say. Of course, Amanda. I'd do anything for you. Now follow me and don't make a scene. I'd follow you anywhere. It's time to put an end to all of this. Well, that's slightly less romantic, isn't it? I guess it's a good thing we didn't give her that ring back, isn't it? A welder's useless without fuel. Correct. And we need a handle. These tend to need very specific tools. There's a horseshoe. Like a nail. Yes. Also correct! A lobster! Oh, there's more than one lobster. I knew that. You could kick them. They are lobsters. They will not attack you. 
I'm never going to be free of that one, am I? Uh, branches are enough for me to stand on them. That gives me an idea. Oh, we're going to make a ladder! To get that canister. An ore. Why do I need it? Oh, so is that to bat the lobsters away? That would also work, guys. Right. Okay. Can I use the ore as a handle for the axe? I bet I could. I have it. And I use it to knock that down. Yes. All right. Well, now I can get the net, which I guess I'm going to use to get rid of the lobsters, which I could have used the ore to knock out of the way. Sure. Why not? <laughs> I know, right? I mean, you don't want to get pinched by them, but as long as you don't put your hands near them. Oh, we're going to ignore the lobsters completely. Okay. Uh, sure. This game is weird. Scissors! Wait, that's all I need is scissors? Oh, I bet I could use a nail to do that. I totally could! And I need one more weird thing. Oh, I can use the scissors to get the button. Visions? Hallucinations? What's happening here? I don't know. I think you're going nuts, my dude. Okay. I could have used a nail in that slot. I have nails. What is this? Bizarre. Okay. Let's see. A razor blade, a feather, a binder clip. I just saw it. There it is. Uh, bolts, but that is not available. What's that? Oh, I need to find things. I need to pay closer attention to that. An inhaler, because of course he has an inhaler. A sticky note. What are we making? Oh, it's like a brooch or something. Cheese. A fluorescent bulb. Tablets. Like medicine? Yep, okay. This gas can be the key to immortality. Okay. A thermometer. Alright, and let's see. A razor blade. Where's the razor blade? Oh, there's the bolt. Stephen Peak, cooperative research with Amanda S. Delivered to Duke Cala something or other. Hmm. Alright, where's the last thing you doodle? That's not a jeweled locket. That was like a crystal. Where's the razor blade? Why can't I find the razor blade? It's sitting right next to that. Oh my gosh, really? Amanda's locket. Remind me what happened in the last game. <laughs> Oh, you're right! There was, like, the guy who was, um, financing the Eternity Project. I bet you're correct. And what is tweezers? Those are tweezers? They're very weird-looking tweezers. And I still don't need this, huh? Okay. 
It wasn't me, it was this other guy. You have to let me go because reasons. Yeah, no, you're right. I completely remember that now. Okay. Oh, now I need to get whatever that is. What is it? The weird stripey key. Oh, okay. Those didn't seem to match in my head. And now we're gonna make a ladder. I don't know why. Come on. Thank you. What are we gonna use for the outside of the ladder, though? The lobsters? Wait. Oh, no, we're not making a ladder. We're making a raft, even though there's a boat right there. <laughs> we put a little flag on it. Thank you. I'm glad you let me use the axe as a hammer because you can totally do that. Okay, now what are we going to use to steer with? Okay, that now we scared the lobsters by just putting the thing down. What am I supposed to do here? Use the arrows to control the raft and cross the river. Okay. Um, play? Oh, okay. I want to cross the river, not go down the river. Like, I could just go across now. Like, look, there's a spot right here. I could get off. No? Oops. Oh, heck no! Wait, there's more school building over here? Why would there be more of the school building all the way over here? That was the villain with Steven in tow. I need to get in that basement. This looks like a generator. Now using this could be an attractive solution. Okay. Oh dear, that's not good. If I could just reach that ladder, if only I could like... Oh look, another eagle. It's a baby one. Oh, it's a hungry. Too bad we don't have any more canned meat. Wait, where are those tweezers I just had? <sighs> it looks like the only exit, yeah. Just a little bit of this rubber could solve a tricky problem. It's a very strange. I'm sure there's a way through this. The chain from the door hoist. It's probably smart to find a way to save these. Stone spires path of the save these what? I don't it, what? No, it was a inner tube! It was part of an inner tube. Goofball. No, huh? It, it wasn't though, it was an inner tube, honest. Oh, this is not a good plan. This, this is a terrible plan. While I think this is a thing that you can do, I'm pretty sure there aren't mis machines like this dedicated to doing it. Let's just put it that way. And a file, which I'm gonna use on this, which is just stuck in the ground there for some reason. There's somebody upstairs. What was that? You don't scare me. Yes, you do.
It must be Amanda's study. Maybe something here will explain her behavior. Are we back at the hotel? Or are we in a different place now? I'm confused. A sandwich! Stone Spire's Path to the Future. This is not the same guy. This must be the guy in the creepy costume. We need to deal with Steven. He knows too much. Amanda seems very dangerous, but what exactly made her betray Steven? I think she was always a bad guy, dude. I, I don't know where we are either. I'm completely confused. We went up to the other portion of the school, which I assume is near the first part where the hotel is. I was once in a case where a masked man kidnapped a famous philanthropist. Now every mask gives me the shivers. That was literally our last thing. Okay, going back to the other thing. Sorry. Remember the last guy had a mask? Even though I knew who he was right away. It's sealed. We, so we we went up to the school that was behind the hotel, I assume. And then we went into the sewers and we ended up at a river and we crossed the river and now we are at another building. So... <laughs> the... <laughs> I was doing that. It's too dangerous that way, I might get caught. It might be? Yeah, I, I, okay. I know how film works. That is not a camera. That is a camera case. I can't do much with a torn mitten. I mean, I probably could. This could be a spot for a pendulum? What? All right, batteries. Uh, I guess we need a spring for that. Why do we need batteries? Okay, it's a camera case. That's fine, with a camera in it. Thank you. Does it have film? What am I taking pictures of? I think I need to take pictures first. It's not like, yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Right, okay, so I guess I need to take a picture of this. Is that what that was going on about? Why? No, first you need to wind the film. You're not going to do that, though. Yeah, you just exposed all the film. Good job. That's not how that works. Kind of how that works. Sort of. Set of symbols. And I have a metal plate. Oh, I can give the birdie the sandwich. That's not a sandwich. That's a hamburger on a bread. Why is there a hamburger on this piece of They don't even know how food works. Okay, so I guess this is this. So, you to you, and then you to you, and then you to you. Oh, it's a nine, just like the game, see? And now this is to open this secret compartment. And you have to, it's another secret room where you have to climb over something? Yes. Uncover six pairs. Oh, come on, enough with the six pairs. Excuse me. No, what's up, what's up? You can't move. No, we were right here. Right, I can't do this. Right, I can't do this. 
things like that. Chain. Okay. Nope. I'm not even going to think about it right now. We're just going to go down here and we're going to do this. Apparently, that is a very heavy door. Uh oh. Watch the door. I'm going to get rid of Steven. It's that villain. I can't believe that Amanda is in league with him. How to get past her? Well, probably something dumb and she'll hear you. Punch roll is inserted here. Why would you do that? Yeah, she's already heard us. You know? You'd think there's something in the coals, but I'm not dumb enough to touch it. You're dumb enough not to like, ooh, maybe we can. Nope. Okay. Should I throw it at her? That seems meaner. Over there, Amanda will notice me. Amanda, if she isn't deaf, would have already noticed me. She'd call the hood man instantly. I must be quiet and find a way to neutralize her. If you hit her on the head, that'd work. I mean, it might also kill her, but you know, what am I supposed to do with a box of coals? I need a spring for that. I need a code for this. Oh, I need the thing for this. Amanda's diary. Oh, and I need a code for that. Oh, okay. And this goes on here. D said Stone Spires University would be a nice place for me after what happened. Thanks to D, I didn't get into any trouble. I owe him so much. Here I am, Stone Spires University psychologist. The job is a nice way to hide my skills as a hypnot at hypnosis. Besides, D is always near. It's such a relief to know he's always somewhere close. That's creepy. I met a new colleague today. He's a chemistry professor named Stephen Peek. He seems talented, but distracted. When he heard I was a psychologist, he asked for help with his pyrophobia. D asked me to watch him and what D wants. Oh, I guess what D wants, what D gets. Okay. D asked me to use my skills as a hypnotist to make Stephen Peake work on a chemical experiment. This is ridiculous, but I cannot say no. But I cannot say no to D. I just, I just love him. Stephen fell in love with me. I pretended I didn't receive any of his love letters. Poor Stephen, he's just a toy in the hands of D, and I am the evil instrument. But I can't do anything, anything myself. I love D too much match. Amanda, what have you gotten yourself into? And match. <laughs> Wait, where is it? <laughs> Steven discovered everything. He halted the research and D was furious. And then the university burned down last night. So many hurt. Steven is missing. D is missing. And it's all my fault. Oh, so she wasn't actually upset about Steven being missing. She was upset about D being missing. Whoever D is. S plus A. Oh. This feeling is stronger than me, D. I owe you much. Love. Oh, that's the dude. Notebook. Okay, what am I looking for? I wasn't paying attention. Cupid. And a pillbox, I think. And a bow. And a CD case. And a fan. And film. And a glove. And a compact. And a notebook. And some sort of weird pendant thing. Ah, oh, there we go. That looks like the thing from Inception. Perfume. 
another ring and a vase or something. I will have to say, this is the first safe in a hundred games that I've played of these where there's actual, actually been valuables in them. So good on you, game. All of the items we found inside that safe prove that Amanda is a professional hypnotist. So why has she remained at Stone Spires? Perhaps Amanda owes our villain a favor. That's why she's obeying his orders and manipulating Professor Peak. Amanda hypnotized Steven so he would work tirelessly on unlocking the properties of the Duke's new chemical. D for Duke? Yeah, she did. We already knew all of that. I can't go out that way now. Oh, I got over here. Uh, oh, wait, this goes in here. And that's a cylinder, which is a music box player to open up the first aid case that's in the basement. Why? And it didn't do anything! It's a music box cylinder! It's supposed to play music! Ooh, look. Why is... It's a sleeping pill. Why is sleeping pills locked up so much? Does she have a problem where she's not telling us? And inside this box that we went all through that trouble was a, a needle. You could have just dumped it in the snow outside. Like this? I don't understand. Hey, we could hit her with the wrench! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay, wait. Wait. Yeah, that way. Thank you. Stupid thing. Why can't I just press on it and it slides? Why do I have to do this whole, like, scoot things around? Interesting. Um... Am I missing something? I can't bring that one that way anymore. Oh, you got it. Good, because I'm confused. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Thank you. That made my brain do a... What? It's sleeping pills. Now's my chance. I can drug Amanda's cup. Okay. Hopefully this takes, like, almost no time because that other guy was going off to kill the other dude. Good, now we tie her up. No? Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Having those- I mean, probably it's a terrible idea to have that kind of powerful sleeping pill. But... Ooh. It's me, James, your friend. <laughs> it's alright, I'm on your side. We're looking for the same man. His name is Duke Callahan. This must be that madman's workshop. He was developing a gas that grants immortality. It seems Amanda hypnotized Professor Peak so he would work on this project. However, something went wrong. Callahan decided to get rid of Stephen by setting fire to Stone Spires University. 
It's my fault he returned here. We've got to stop him. Really, detective? He'll never stop me. You've gone too far. Now I'll have to get rid of you as well. Don't think I won't. It's gas. Run. I've got your back. <laughs> So, apparently, a pair, sorry, I have to take a minute. <laughs> so apparently, our friend James has returned. Isn't everyone excited? And he got a haircut. Yes. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> that was the thing that happened. <sighs> Wait, no, this one. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being too loud, but it's too funny. Oh my gosh. That was not where I expected this to go. I, I, I. I'm also very surprised by this revelation. So I guess we got... Was that just one game without James or two games without James? No, that was only one game without James. <laughs> I would say maybe he dies in this one, but... Where did they go? Well, I'm safe now, but I'm freezing. A hot, a cup of hot tea would help me warm up. Oh my gosh. I, I, I know. I, I know. I'm just gonna get like the loose items in here, and then I'll stop. I can make tea with this. All right. Okay. Let, let's warm up so we can get rid of the frosty stuff. Wait, I was gonna... How do I... I need to warm up. I know you need to warm up. That's where I came from. I can't... I could really use some hot tea right now. I don't have any water! All right, maybe we'll just stop here then. Okay, let, let, let's stop here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stop here at <laughs> So <laughs> So Oshpunk can regain her sanity a little. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. I have to say, while I was looking through all, I think there's 20 of these games, I did see the name James, James mentioned once, but I don't remember which game. And I'm like, that can't be the same one because he wasn't in the next one. So it might have been this one. Don't, don't be worried. But it is also possible that James is one of the mystery trackers and that he is in... That series of games. And since he's not dead, that was an alternate ending. But since it seems like Mystery Trackers is interweaving with this game a lot, or this series now, that's twice in two games. And if, if James is actually working for them, then he's like a main character in this one and that one. Then we might want to pause Haunted Hotel until we get to the point where we are caught up with mystery trackers. And I might need to look into like a series play order because there's a third series that interplays with these two. It's Haunted Hotel and Mystery Trackers. And I want to say Grim Legends, but now I can't remember. So 
We might want to replace Haunted Hotel with Grim Legends until we catch up to where all of the games are at the same place and then we can play them in order. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's not what it's called. Let me look it up. <laughs> it's not that bad. At least he got a haircut. At least we're not him. That could have been another thing that happened. Yep. Oh my gosh, I was right. Grim Tales. Okay. Grim Tales is the other series. Aught Punk is not going to be happy. <laughs> Haunted Hotel, Grim Tales, and Mystery Trackers. Okay. I think, I think we're going to have more James. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what his name is. I can't, I know I saw somewhere where they talked about the crossover game. And I'm looking to figure out which one that is. Detectives Un United. Detectives United unites James Blackthorne of Haunted Hotel, Anna Gray and her father Richard of Grim Tales, which we haven't done any of, and Agents Brown and Shade of Mystery Trackers, which I don't think we've met yet, into an elite detective unit specializing in the most difficult supernatural cases. Oh no, this one's still going. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna have to figure out a play order for these because we have to play these in the right order because this is ridiculous. Show my no, show my anger. <laughs> um, Aunt Punk is unhappy. <laughs> But I think we can push through anyways. <laughs> and yeah, good talk, everyone. I think we shall be done for the day. And I think we will do uh, Mr. Case Files next. Because I, I think Aunt Punk needs a, a break. <laughs> I'm Fake Touched and I will talk to you later. Bye.